Hi friends, we are starting with image based series and uh, it will be in a sequence. So we are starting with bacteriology first and in that also the first one to be discussed is Staph aureus. Okay, as you can see in this picture, this is a gram staining picture of this particular fellow Staph aureus and it's showing up grape like clusters and the thing is this particular fellow is violet in color. As you know, the gram positive fellows, they are mostly violet in color <coughs> as per the gram staining. And this particular one arrange up in a grape like clusters and they look like this particular thing on gram staining. Okay, so this is regarding the gram staining. The other important aspect of Staph aureus is regarding the hemolysis. So this particular fellow shows beta hemolysis on <coughs> blood agar. Along with beta hemolysis, this fellow shows up pin head size of colonies. Okay, so pin head size is seen in Staph aureus, whereas the same thing like pin point that is seen in Streptococcus. Okay. Other than that, you need to remember the most important culture media of this one and the most important culture media of this one is that is the best in fact this is the best selective media used for staph aureus named as mannitol salt agar okay you can see up this uninoculated stuff in this side and after inoculation this turns up to this yellow color <clears throat> then this particular test you know that this particular test is catalase test okay and you know the catalase test is performed with 3% hydrogen peroxide. When you put up the colonies of this fellow onto 3% H2O2, the bubbles they come because of the release of nascent oxygen. Okay. So today we are discussing up this much regarding this fellow. And in the further videos, we will talk about the coagulase test and the second bacteria of us that is Streptococcus. Thank you.